Pablo Gunner here for a nerdy fitness vlog. So what have you been up to? Because I've been not, well I'm stuck on day shift for another week of training for one, uh, which does not make me happy. I don't really care for day shift. I don't know if I've said that before, but I don't like the traffic in the morning. I don't like the traffic going home. That's the worst part of it. It's not the busyness of the shift itself, because I like the busyness of the shift, because then it makes the day go by faster. But that's not the problem. You know, and then I, I don't like getting up super early, so I'm not gonna get up early to work out. I'm not gonna get up early to go to the gym, because the gym is packed. And you already, if you listen to my other video, about packed gyms, like that wasn't even that busy of a day versus like day shift. Yeah, so I'm stuck on day shift more and so it's continuing with this thing where it's dictating my eating schedule. Where they go like, hey, go eat. And it's like, I'm not hungry. They're like, yeah, well, you're gonna be busy for the next few hours and the rest of the day, so go eat. And it's like, all right, I guess I'm going to eat. So that's, that was that situation. This morning I had a blueberry bagel uh, with butter, and I it was I the wife cut it in half for me. She's the one that toasted it and buttered it for me. So I just uh, I only ate half of it, and it took me a while to eat it. It was like you know, like well, it was like half an hour before I actually ate it. I ate it, and then I was good. I was like I don't need to eat the second one. So I just, uh, I just drink water from there on out. And then when I got to work, I was like, all right, I'm, I'm hungry, so I'll have the other half. Uh, it was a little bit though, before I got to actually eat again. So it was like at least like three, about three hours before I got to eat the other half, but I did, I warmed it up. And, uh, and then it was too hard. So it was very hard to eat. In fact, like there's a quarter of it I just had to throw away because it was just too hard to chew. So, anyways, yeah, and uh, and then, like I said, I, I was doing training, and then after a few hours, around 11, so it was like around 8.30, I think I ate um, the other half of my bagel, and then around 11.30, the, the guy was like, hey, go eat. And I was just gonna eat my yogurt with granola, but then like, when I started to think about it, I was like, all right, screw it, I'll just eat. I'm glad I did. Well, my wife, she got me some stir fry or something like that from 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 the mall or something like that. It wasn't, it's not actually fried, I don't think. But anyways, it's like noodles and vegetables and chicken. Uh, chicken lo mein, I think, with vegetables. And it was really good. I thought there was rice in there, so I was a little disappointed about that, but oh well. So it was still, I, did, I only had like, uh, not even half of it and so I'm glad I ate it though I was full the rest of the day because I did not get to eat again and if I would have gone with the yogurt if I would have not eaten at all I would have just been starving like hell so I'm glad that I ate that and like I said like that thing is after my workout I was starving like not during my workout but after just like uh, I'm just like oh my god so I had a naranjo orange if you don't know and so yeah, so that's that's what I had to eat today. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna have when I get home. I might have the rest of the of the uh, of the I don't know if it's Chinese food or what, but anyways, you know, noodles, chicken, and vegetables. Okay, I did my first day back at the workout. You know, stretch, do yoga do my upper, mostly upper body focused cardio. I think that's when I need to actually show the moves and stuff one of these days when I get the chance. Uh, on my Friday, I, I wanted to do it, but I didn't get the opportunity just because I went straight home because I was like, oh, gym's too busy, road's too busy, forget it. Well, actually, gym probably wouldn't be busy on a Friday, but I know that the roads would have been super busy if I would have gone to the gym and then gone home and then Traffic's bad enough on a Friday, so I was like, I'll just go. So, get a little, you know, get get out there before everybody else. So anyways, yeah, so that's what happened to me. And then I wanted to do this workout on Sunday night so that I'd have that done. And then today I could do my, do my legs workout again, which was really intense and hardcore and awesome. 
but also left me really, really sore, which my chest workout too left me really, really sore. So I need to get a better handle on that, but, uh, and do more. But anyways, yeah. So still, it was, it was really solid. I felt really, really great today. I was really like, I don't know, I, I watched uh, Bruce Lee. I watched Bruce Lee, uh, I think it was, gosh, what is the name of it? The, the Bruce Lee movie where he fights Chuck Norris. I, it's not Enter the Dragon, I wanna see, is it Quest of the Dragon or something like that? It's something of the dragon. And anyways, he fights Chuck Norris, which is weird because it was, I think it was before Enter the Dragon. So anyways, I was really, so I was like in that mode, you know, I was like in the Bruce Lee, like, you know, and like, so that's how I was like doing my jabs and stuff. Cause that's what I do for my upper body cardio is I do a lot, I'll do like the jab cross, you know, I'll do the hooks, I'll do the uppercuts, you know? And so I was like, I was, I was going for it. I was like, gotta move like water, you know, like, you know, for that speed and, and accuracy and, and everything like that. It was, it was fantastic. It was a great workout, but I'll be honest, I did, it was, I was so intense at the beginning that I tired myself out by the end, but that's also not a bad thing. It's like, I'm tired out. Okay. That's good. You know, like I was slow, but I was still putting out all my all. So yeah, felt good, felt fantastic. Um, I didn't have any time to play any video games this weekend, uh, which is very unfortunate because I still want to play the Assassin's Creed American Cry about Adewale. Uh, and so, and, um, and yeah, and I want to play, I wanted to play more Mass Effect, but I didn't get the opportunity. My remote died and we don't have the batteries for it. Uh, oh, that's a different remote. That's, but anyways, so yeah, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I've just been watching, uh, since I'm on, I have a different schedule than my wife now, I have more free time, so I, but I really just ends up in the time that I put into the podcast and editing videos and stuff like that, because that's, that's what I do, that's me. Uh, so, but yeah, and, uh, so hopefully I'll have more time to play video games, because I wanted to play, like I said, I wanted to play Mass Effect, didn't get the opportunity. And, and the other stuff, um, and yeah, and oh, but I am up to date on on Game of Thrones, which is great, and I, but I am not up to date on Rick and Morty, so hopefully I'll have time to get to get up to date on that. So, and like I said, this is another week that's uh, messed up for me because I'm not going to be training twice a, twice a day or twice in a 24-hour period because of the fact that I am on day shift and so I'm changing my schedule to this shift so yeah so it's 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 you know it's always in flux but it's also one of those things that hey it's realistic it's realistic Ch schedules get changed and then you got to do your best to still work fitness in and still eat healthy and everything like that so make sure y'all do that and I want to know what your favorite X-Men is uh, of all of them. Mine is Nightcrawler. Always has been. Uh, he's uh, Catholic. He's devout Catholic. Uh, you know, he looks like a demon, but he's more like an angel. Uh, but he's also a ladies' man. He was going to go into the priesthood, but he's too much of a ladies' man. So he likes the ladies too much, so he didn't. Um, I think he, he, like, tried and then just didn't work out or something like that. But anyways... So yeah, and uh, so, you know, I just, I love his teleportation powers and the way he looks, the fuzzy blue elf, and then he's German, he's German accent, so, and it's weird because like he looks different, so even like mutants kind of like treat him differently because he looks different, but that's why I like him. So yeah, so I want to know what your favorite X-Men is. Movies, shows, comics, I don't care, just tell me. So yeah, uh, that's it, stay fit, stay healthy, stay nerdy. And love and peace. peace.